So this uh, objective three is multiplying polynomials. I'm going to review two examples with you. Um, this, this should be reviewed. Shouldn't be too tough. There's one specific example I want to talk about because there's common mistakes that happen there, and I want to hopefully help you avoid them. Okay. So we're just going to go right in on a problem. Okay. And I'm gonna, I made it sort of a tougher problem to start with just to make sure we're all on the same page. This can be found on page 40. You can write it down. You can take a picture, however you want to do this. Um, and then we'll, we'll step through this problem. Actually, why don't you try to do this problem first? I'm going to give you a couple minutes to do it, and let's see how it, see how it goes, and then we'll go through it together. You've got two things times three things. So at some point, I should have six things, and then we'll simplify it down, hopefully, and combine some like terms and have fewer than six things. Now, the way I like to do this is I like to take the first term and multiply it by the three terms over here first. Okay? And so what that's going to look like is that. That's what I'm doing in my head. Okay? But for your sake, I'm going to write it out, and maybe you need to write it out too like that. That's okay. Um, so 3y squared, or sorry, 3y times y squared is 3y to the third. 3y times 4y is 12y squared, and 3y times 2 thirds is 2y. So there's the first part of it, okay? The second part now is taking negative 6 times all three of them. And that's where my six things will come from. So I'll get negative 6y squared minus 24y minus 4. Okay? Then I just have to combine like terms where I have them. And that, okay, there are my like terms. I highlighted them in the corresponding colors. So you knew which ones are like terms. So you don't try to combine things that are not. They have to have the same variable raised to the exact same power. So the 3y to the third is still going to come first. I've got 12 minus 6, which will give me 6y squared, and 2 minus 24, which is negative 22y, and then I have my minus 4. End. And that is the final answer. How many have that? Very good. Okay. One other example I want to look at, and I'll have you give this one a shot first too, and then we'll go through it. This is on page 41. This is the quantity 8z minus 2, all squared. Thank you, some of you who, sh who did actually make that common mistake. One of the things that happens here um, that I see is people just decide to square this and square this, and that is not correct. In reality, what this means is 8z minus 2 times 8z minus 2. And when that happens, you have, uh, eventually you have a middle term, okay? So when you foil this out, you end up with, so two things times two things, initially you have four things, and then it'll simplify down to three. And so what I wanted to make clear was that the answer to this is not 64z squared plus four or 64z squared minus four. Both of those are wrong, okay? And, and many of you wrote it out, which is good. If you happen to remember the formula for a binomial square, that's fine as well. Um, but here are my two things times two things, my foil, if you will. So I'm going to get this middle term, which happens to be the same. So if you ever wanted to work with it as a shortcut, you do get 64z squared, and you do get positive 4. The middle term is multiplying them together times 2. So 16 times 2, uh, I'm sorry, 8 times 2 times 2. Multiply them together times 2, which gives me my minus 32z, which if you want to foil it out, that's fine too and you get the same thing, but if you ever wanted to skip all the foiling and do a shortcut, it only works for a binomial squared. This one squared is the first term, this one squared is the last term. The middle term is multiply them together, then times two. So 8z times negative two, which is negative 16z, multiply that by two, and you get negative 32z. So that was the only one I really wanted to point out, just because I know sometimes we forget about these middle terms and that's where you can get in trouble when you do these things, okay?